and welcome or welcome back to my angel channel. I am Angel and in this reading we are getting romantic. I put the vibe y'all, I did. It's always time. In this reading you probably saw the title, we're going to see your first conversation with your next, or actually no, with your future spouse, okay? Because I wanted to first say maybe your next relationship, but hmm. I don't know, I found it to be deeper, so disclaimer, this conversation might not be the next relationship you're in, if it, if the reading hits, then okay, who are you talking to, that's your future spouse. So anyway, for the group selection, we have five different tarot decks, for group one, we've got the Star Spinner Tarot, I don't know if that's going to be focused. and then for group two, we got the Fairy Tale Tarot deck. For group three, you got the Tazama African Tarot. <laughs> okay. For group four, you got Zeke's Arcana. And for group five, you've got the Silhouette's Tarot. It's the other side. Okay. So, now that we know we like to go with just the card boxes, I'll have the timestamps for you below um, in the description box and in the comments. But if you want some extra, you know, I got you. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's our charms. Um, I'm gonna fast forward. Give me one second. Alrighty, so for group one, you received this silver Eiffel Tower charm. For group two, you received the silver peace sign charm, as well as this gold design charm I found one day. For group three, you got three different charms. You have this gold rose charm, this silver drummer charm, or is it a band? It's a flutist, um, number 11 on there. And then it's also the gold uh, lucky, uh, what's this called? Four leaf clover charm. For group four, you got one charm, it's this gold tree charm. And for group five, you've got one charm as well, it's the gold speckled butterfly. So if you know where you like to go with just charms, you know where the timestamps are. But if you want to see both the card deck and the charm at the same time, I'll pop that on screen now. So of course you can take your time, breathe, see what you feel drawn to, and I will see you in the vibe check, okay? Bye-bye! Hello, and welcome to the vibe check section for group one. If you felt like this your vibe, let's make sure it's the right one for you. Now if you've got it, please grab your drink or your snack. Cheers to your reading and piping hot tea. Hold on. It hits. It hits. Yeah, I'm drinking, um, it's like a peach or gray thing, but I feel like there's like chai in there too? Yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and begin with your charm and um, tarot deck. So first of all, I mean, this obvious message of the Eiffel Tower, if you're not already in Paris, France, <laughs> you just might be going. But now for real, this is more so, um, indicative of travel or actually being new somewhere um it's looking like it is a time to explore and expand for you um currently right now or like it's we could be planning for this and to go quite soon as well um also you might be taking the time to study a lot right now at the moment um it could be you know new classes or maybe you are new somewhere and you just gotta like acclimate yourself to this location um this this is looking like deep study honestly some of you might take a personal what's it um personal projects for i don't know these things that pique your interest and i feel like it's but it's serious you know this isn't just the oh I'm, let me read about this this is looking like we're setting down a plan here we're um serious about these studies also it kind of feels like um some have been trying very hard to assist other people like a lot of people or heal a lot of people um and it's almost kind of been like a fight for you to help and to be of service. I don't know why there's so much resistance. This is, I guess, just the vibe check, but that's what I'm feeling. It's like, no, I'm, I'm trying to do well here, but it's a fight for you. Um, And there's also like one thing here with the stars, and I'm not sure if it is like the star in tarot or is it just like about the stars? Give me one second. 
No, okay, so it's more so about these star tarot, like, um, in tarot, the star card. Um, at the top of the box, that lady with the purple hair, that's the one. She's on the star card. Anyway, she's the one who's, like, granting wishes. <laughs> no, but for real, your vibe right now is, like, a wish is being granted right at this very moment, you know? You may not see it at the very moment, but that's what's happening, like, behind the scenes, if you don't see it, because it's very strong, actually. Some of you might be connected to group... Three, because it was that like something with the lucky charm. Mm. So if you felt drawn for both, then I think that's confirmation. But anyway, let's go ahead and end this vibe check here. If all I got just now has not been you, then now is the time to choose another group or another video. But if you want, to, uh, but if what I got just now has been you, then let's get right into your reading. Alrighty, group one. Let's go ahead and begin. Oh no, we're not starting with this. We are starting with. The mirror cards. I wanted to get one card for you and one card for them. And uh, the card that we pull is going to represent what is your overall mindset when it comes to this conversation. Okay. And I do have like one more oracle that we're going to get to um, before we get into the tarot. So let's start on, whoa, we're going to start on this side, my left. <laughs> I, I'm hoping it's your left too. Um, we have number three, aloneness. Um, but I know before in like my other person A, person B video, I was like, I think it's going to be more you and it's probably more them. So look, regardless, just I'm going to be refer referring to this side as the aloneness person. And then for the other side... They'll be referred to as the letting go person. And so as we continue throughout the reading, you can see um, which sounds like, mm, which one sounds more like you. Okay. So here, aloneness person got number three and letting go person got number 20. Let me see if I get any message with this before we grab the other cards for this. Okay, so for this conversation, a loneliness person is literally talking about how they were alone from before and um and have accepted that too. It's like I think this person on one hand, like because I think there's two, maybe three threads here. Like on one of these threads, it's like the person who was alone or lonely didn't even know that they were lonely until like, I don't know, whatever happened. We well, still need to get more cards, but that's more so on this person's mind. Like, it's like, wow, they are going to be revealing, hopefully, I guess, <laughs> to the letting go person that it's like, wow, I didn't even know I was alone or, you know, it wasn't until I with, was with you um, until I felt it's like, whoa, dang, I really was lonely. And it's like, it's looking like things before maybe didn't matter. Life wasn't as sweet or as saturated. It was just like going through the motions. But it's like, then meeting this person or like doing something new that changed the game for the aloneness person opened them up to community and like um being held being received all right um being loved here uh with people that they want to connect with um also this person it could have just been if that's not the case then they could have just been very, very busy, so they couldn't have had a lot of time to, you know, um, hang out with anyone at all. They were only able to just do their own thing and work, I guess, or take care of business. Um, and it's, I'm not getting so, it's maybe few here. It's an apology of like, I'm sorry that I was so busy for this conversation, but overall, it's just that person was busy, so they were just talking about, or they're thinking about at least how they were by themselves for so long because all they could do is work um and then there's also this other thread to where um like this aloneness person purposefully stayed on their own um stayed one-on-one -on -one because they were trying to give themselves spiritual healing clarity and enlightenment you know they were trying to upgrade their connection with the divine and so it's like they took time on their own to really figure out what their personal connection was or is to the divine right and how they're going to continuously listen and follow this like divine path so um yeah overall though with this awareness person it's like i feel like they are trying to let the letting go person know that 
this type of aloneness period is over or they would like it to be over, okay? And now over here with the letting go person number 20, um, first of all, I'm just seeing, yeah, like a lot of eyes around this shape, even though I don't think they are. I think they're just like these orb shapes, but they're looking to me like eyes at this moment, like, you know, the biblically accurate eyes of the, um, throne angels, the wheels here, multiple wheels and many eyes. And so I'm seeing this person, I think they had just let go and they might, this might sound a little woo woo. Okay. But it's like, they let go of their physical body. All right. Or they let go of their ego. And that looks like getting out of your own way right and being open to listening to whatever um wherever you're guided okay um and i think this person overall honestly i think they are pretty pure energy and i think they've kind of are like always been this way um and i think a lot of people notice that about them too but i'm also just seeing like i think it was a journey for them and in, in learning on how to express this pure energy um yeah for like the world but also for themselves it's like i think for a long time they're figuring out um what they really were and letting go of dogma or um i don't know just you know laws of society you know i think they're just letting go of their physical realm you know their realm around them even though i think yeah they're still here like i'm gonna be talking of course <laughs> like but i think they just they have elevated at this time you know they see that they have so much control over their life and yet they are still co-creating with the divine it's like they have control over their actions but they don't have control over the future and i think they're accepting this um yeah, a lot of angelic energy around them but also, I do like that you guys are matching with this blue energy. So I am seeing that at the end of the day, there's soul truth wanting to be shed here, okay? In the chakra system, we have blue in the throat chakra as well as the third eye chakra. So this is what's being, this is what's on both of your guys' minds, that type of energy of like, well, let me just speak my truth about how, what my intuition is telling me and what that, what has happened with my intuition. But on that note as well, with this color blue, blue is, you know, the color of erudite in the Divergent series, but you know, blue overall is a calming color and allows your mind to get more clear. So you think faster, think, you know, more logically. So I'm just seeing that you guys are kind of looking at this conversation more so from an intuitive and logical stance um yeah we need more we need more so <laughs> we're gonna be using the enchanted blossoms oracle right we're gonna get one card for the aloneness person and one card for the letting go person we're gonna get these cards to see how you are presenting on the surface Mm -hmm. Because though we can have all of this in mind, how are we showing up to the other person, right? And here's how this is working. So this isn't, these cards is not showing how the person wants to show up. It's showing on, it's showing up how they, how the other person sees them. You know what I'm saying? So I'll explain more clearly as we get the cards. So we can continue our reading. Okay, so like I was trying to explain. Now, regardless of how the aloneness person is coming off, this letting go person is experiencing elegance from them, okay? Letting go is seeing aloneness as elegant. Let's get another card for the letting go person. And, you know, I was just seeing this, um, a gold ring might be very, very significant at this time. Could mean a lot, you know, a lot of different things. Whoa, excuse me. Yeah, a lot of different cards, hello. <laughs> Too much, goodness. Y'all know, I haven't used these cards on my channel in a minute. In the real talk, like the real tea is because these cards don't like resonate with me fully. Like, yeah, I can kind of read for them, but it's not like natural, like with a lot of Hell, I'm out of my other damn cards. This one is so hard for me. <laughs> so one day is days I'm gonna like gift it out. Maybe YouTube or maybe like a personal friend. We're gonna see y'all. We're gonna see. 
this. Wow. You know what? I thought we were... Okay, so I saw spirituality in a different card, though. That's a thing. Like, it was... And it was a different butterfly. Yeah, okay. I saw this card, but I thought... I saw spirituality, so... Shit, let's just do that. <laughs> okay. So... As for the letting go person, we don't know how they're showing up for themselves. They might be trying to show up as cool and collected. We don't know. But as for the alonest person, the alonest person sees the letting go person as very strong and very spiritual. Which, I mean, I guess goes with that vibe. But let me just see more on this side with elegance. Now, look, with this card, the flower is the lily. And the butterfly is the Archduke. Notice all the colors. Oh my. You know. And with this letting go person having the spirituality card. First of all, this letting go person might just be like more spiritual than the aloneness person. Also, it's like I think they might have just elevated a bit further more than this um, aloneness person as well. Um, and I think at least just one basic message is that the letting go person is seeing the like seeing the energy of the aloneness person all right and like i'm getting that with like this rainbow colors here on the card like you know how some people can like see auras yeah i can't but <laughs> i can feel them but not nah, it's like this person like for real might be able to see the aura of this aloneness person or at least be able to experience it very clearly or maybe even hear it you know regarding your ability or whatever this letting go abilities person is but it's like um the what they are seeing it's more than just the current state of aloneness person um like as far as letting go knows like they see aloneness as someone who has Actually, who has elevated a lot, who has done a lot of work. Um, and letting go sees Alonis person as psychic. Like, I think during this conversation, Alonis might bring up different topics that letting go wants to talk about or has been thinking about. And it's like, letting go didn't have to say anything. It's like, wow, Alonis is just reading my mind right now, you know? Now, to over here, right, with letting go, you got, or they got, the strength card um, with the fennel plant and the dragon is the black swallowtail. And then the letting go person also got spirituality. Now the flower slash tree is the cherry blossom and the dragon is fashioned after the Chinese peacock butterfly. Beautiful. Um, anywho, so okay, according to a lowness person, uh, regarding what whatever letting go person is saying, Alonis is seeing that letting go is so very strong, and it looks like in the real way. <laughs> I reference this all the time on my channel, Steven Universe. <laughs> in one of the episodes, there was a song like, um, "I I can show you to be strong in the real way." Um, and anyway, it's about like this one character who is physically not as strong and not even emotionally <laughs> as strong as the other uh, characters, but they're faced with a challenge to where they had to be strong. They had to use their their own power. It's not like they can just borrow power from someone else. They had to use what they what they had, who they were in order to persevere through these challenges. Um, and that is true strength. It's more than just, you know, gruffness and more than it's more than just being aggressive. It is perseverance regardless of any type of obstacle. It's, it's like holding on to your heart. And I think the aloneness person understood that even though the letting go person had gone through a lot of obstacles, they still st held strongly to their spirituality and knew that they were being guided the right way. Okay. And this is what they're understanding from letting go. Now, let's get some more cards before we end off this reading. I'm trying to make them to be like a good 15 minutes for each group. Because Loki, y'all, I should have been made this video, but life be life in. Anyway, what is your tarot? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Here we go. It's the Star Spinner Tarot. Um, we're going to get a few of these cards to see how the conversation actually goes. <laughs> and then um, I did pull one more deck to get the outcome. Okay. 
so let us see what we get here ten of swords in reverse so this is over like what this is a lot actually has been brewing in your guys's mind about this conversation before it happened all right and it's looking like we're putting a lot of our fears and anxieties to rest with this it's like i don't know there's a big energy of reassurance here was that the wheel of fortune it is that's for y'all mm -hmm. so this meeting okay so you're going to talk about how your guys's life events had drawn you together um and you're i think you're going to notice only after both of you just share your journey with each other and i think you'll find that both of you had learned the same lessons possibly even at the same time wow two tens here hmm hmm and with this being the wheel of fortune you guys have might have had might have had to wait a while before you were able to talk together, okay? And I'm kind of seeing where there's a type of agreement that solidifies solidifies this connection. You know, it's like there's no more separation or something. Did a card flip? Did y'all see that? Or did because it, it could have literally the full flip and then went back in all right wasn't meant to be let's get a different one wow the tower yeah you know what like with this wheel of fortune and tower being right next to each other this meeting seems actually a little bit unavoidable so i don't know maybe some were a little bit hesitant about talking with this person but there was no way to avoid it y'all were put in the same place at the same time that's it. Like, there's no way to avoid it. And this changes everything. You're going to talk about how you would literally move mountains for each other. Like, someone might, you know, leave a job. Someone might cut off certain, like, people in their lives for this type of relationship. Um, This is looking like you guys are okay settled with making sacrifices for one another and will be doing that we have temperance upright i know i tried to come out reverse but it feels more upright which is telling me that someone might have to concede to the other with a future desire or just future plan it's like someone might for example let's say someone wants to live in a cabin but the other partner would rather live like in a normal house or something so it's like one person might have to concede to the other and with this temperance card ending up unright upright y'all are gonna be fine you're gonna be happy it's gonna be great especially with a lot of this um mirroring this matching um temperance pouring water into the other um and then this affinity symbol, it's like a lot of togetherness in this 10, 10. It's a, this is meant to be, and you guys are going to be fine. We're over time. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. This is, what's this? <laughs> Let's see what it is. Yeah, okay, someone, for a five of wands, can be indicative of challenges, of obstacles to face. So, I kind of really am seeing that, there, like, to make this relationship happen, it's not, it's not that you guys won't get along or won't be able to communicate too well it's not that at all it's the opposite you guys are great it's more so just the environment around you you guys are going to be talking about like let's be together and <laughs> so let's make sure we can do this um really fast little just smooshy stuff with the lovers here you are going to talk about how deeply you feel for this person how much they mean to you okay let me move that if we can see it lord have mercy my damn channel okay i think that's good um let's get one card just to see how we're leaving this conversation and then that's gonna be it because we're over time uh, opportunity and change yeah okay that's what it is like y'all are gonna be somebody both both y'all will be changing your guys's lives up for this opportunity to be together mm-hmm okay Oh my god, I love that. Let's go ahead and end this off here. 
Hooray, we did it y'all. We made it to the end of yet another reading. Uh, another reading on my angel channel. Y'all, we we have grown so much. It's, it's mind boggling to me and I can only just say thank you so much for joining me in this reading, joining me on this channel's journey. Um, if you have been commenting, thank you. I see all the comments. I try to respond whenever I can or whatever I can. And then, um, if you have liked my videos, thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting me and helping us grow. Um, and as, and also like with the when if you subscribe and when you like, I can see like okay, like this is good. <laughs> we'll keep going for whatever topic that is for the reading, or you just really vibe with my energy. Um, and I was feeling in um the past reading really fast. We have expect powerful change new moon eclipse and now when i'm filming this it's a new moon this is the collective energy y'all okay expect powerful change um oh what was i saying well anyway uh yeah for those who have been here thank you so much and i'm expecting like because i kind of sense a lot of who is within our angel army and a lot of y'all are mad psychic like so much to where I'm understanding why I was meant to begin this channel as well because I said in the other um closing of the reading that I know there are, there are those here throughout the reading like when I'm giving cards you get messages as well that could be very specific or whatever and it might not be for you and you could share it and so I'm like I feel for those here I want, I'm gonna give opportunities for those to share about certain cards throughout the reading. I haven't fully planned out how I want that to happen yet, so that's why I didn't do it yet, but just expect this. Um, if you've been feeling like, ooh, I got a message with that card, I'm getting an intuitive message with this type of setup or something, because I can only do, like, I can cast the net, right, for this, but I feel like those individuals will be able to get the specifics for others anyway last card <laughs> we have my flesh and my heart may fail but god is the strength of my heart and my portion forever bless psalm 73 26 okay um so yes oh also i do offer personal readings if you're ever interested i got my info in the description box but uh if this is where you are leaving me then i will see you in another reading okay Bye bye Hey Drew, hello, how you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the vibe check section for group two. If you felt drawn to this group, let's make sure it's the right one for you. Now if you've got it, please grab your drink or your snack. Cheers to your reading. Mm. And to good tea. Really fast, um, I had this like strong, I don't know, message or download of Claire Audience. So I don't know if... um certain lyrics are speaking out to you at this time or certain um maybe advert i was about to say advertisements advertisements um you know on you know tv radio whatever and it's like certain words might stick to you or it could be to where you could have seen a commercial or whatever or something like similar to it and whatever was said or could have been the jingle like it's just stuck in your head and it's like okay i'm not even i wasn't even interested in the product or the song so why is it still stuck in my head this is part of that clear audience of your spirit team or whoever trying to tell you these messages of like hey this is important for you to know either for the current time or maybe for later as well okay um but anyway more so like with your card and charms i was getting like this is a very busy time for you busy 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 like busy bee like i think there's a lot of assignments a lot of distractions it's like we're going a lot of places um and it's not like anything like okay with this peace sign too it's not anything to be like fretting like honestly we're fretting it's just we're very busy at this time um yeah you might if this is your own personal business you might get a, be getting a lot of um business at for yourself you know um a lot of orders to fill mm. this is also looking like someone was waiting like for a certain like yeah season but yeah it could have been waiting for spring season for something but it looks like there was some type of like oh i had to wait and now is the right time so i can do these things i, I was planning or um be excited about like you're excited about this could it could be like oh festivals uh uh it, performances and it's like oh, i had to wait for that it could be like this but i'm just sensing there's something a bit deeper under the surface where it's like we had to wait for events around you like life around you to get 
situated for you to do like this one plan. You know, I don't know what whatever the plan is. Also, it might seem like a lot here. People come to you and they end up having spiritual conversations with you, or like divine conversation. Is and it's like not. It's like you didn't even um, initiate this conversation. It just they just started it and like hey, lo and behold, maybe you are super into spirituality, but it seems like this has happened a lot. We we could get more, but I think we're good for now. Let's go ahead and pause the vibe check here. If all I got just now has not been you, then now is the time to choose another group or another video. But if what I got just now has been you, then let's get right into your reading. All righty group two, let's go ahead and begin. We're gonna start off by getting a couple of the mirror cards. We're gonna get one card for one person and one card for the other person, okay? And then what the card will represent is the mindset the person has for this conversation, okay? Like what's really going on um, in their mind. Um, and as we go through the reading, you can, I will be talking about how this person thinks, what they what they would say, and with that, you'll be able to see which one is more for you, okay? So, so far, we have spontaneity, number 28. Let's go ahead and grab another card for the other person. You know, I just got a big, um, I don't know why elephant energy is haunting me recently but elephants coming through and i'm seeing it's like it's um walking through the leaves here and so the person that you are conversing with it seems like they had just emerged from a slow and so like a solo journey and with it being emerging through these leaves the person that you will be conversing with they might first of all like have a lot of earth energy in their chart and i'm saying like earth sign sun moon rising um and that would be taurus capricorn or virgo um but also if that person just doesn't have a lot of earth energy in their chart which i'd be surprised um they just for real for real love 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 being in out in nature okay immersing their fingers and toes into the ground you know and have a green thumb just be big about nature well anyway let's get this other card Alrighty, we have anger here number four so I'm gonna put these two to the side. Let me give you a close up of all these colors, all this expression. My goodness. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me begin here on the spontaneity side person. Here, I'll just be calling this person spontaneity or spontaneity throughout the reading and I'll call this person anger. Anywho, <clears throat> spontaneity number twenty-eight. So when it comes to this conversation, what's on spontaneity person's mind is new adventure, right? I mean, look at all of these sparks. It's not too hard to read, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold you. Um, this person is wanting to do a lot of new things. Lot of, you know, first of all, actually, I'm just seeing <laughs> this orange, this red, this is giving, you know, that uh, root chakra energy and sacral chakra energy, both of it. All of these being um, a good amount of divine masculine energy, very active, right? So anyway, uh, let's get back to spontaneity. Uh, yeah, so it's like this person, um, they for real might be, have just been getting more active, but I think it's like they want to have more action with this anger person. I, I like they're wanting to expand more, to do more, like to reach this next level, um, this is giving me Sagittarius energy. It's like, what can we do to have fun and grow? You know what I'm saying? Because yes, Sagittarians are so much fun. Like, look, maybe I'm biased because I'm Gemini <laughs> match, but overall, Sagittarians are a lot of fun. But if you notice, they are so, so deep. They are wise as hell, okay? Because wherever they go, they truly try to understand what they're learning. 
And I think this person is wanting more of that for their life. And the thing is, I think it's like they're trying to get the anger person to come along with them, to do it with them, you know? Now, overall, over, over to this anger person, right? Number four. Now, this person is feeling like it's looking like a lot of what they're wanting in their life is not going the right way. You know, it's like, I think they have tried a lot of things, maybe went for a lot of opportunities, whatever. It's just, I think they've been getting roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. And I think they're sick of it. I mean, we have anger here. So kind of self-explanatory. I feel like that this person is going to have to convince anger to go along with this plan because I think anger more so is just shut off from doing a lot of anything only because they've been shut down all right a lot and it looks like they had made effort because I mean you see a lot of this yellow light shining through it's the same type of light that spontaneity has but it's looking like you know, maybe it's the environment they're in or the people that's around them. Maybe it's their diet. I don't know. But it's like with this red color, right? Red is the color of the root chakra. And what is the root chakra? But what is physically here? Like what is physically around us? It's the body. It's the home. It's the bills. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and yeah, that's also, that's earth energy. Like what is physical? Um, overall, this person Ooh, could be very sensual, but like also have a lot of pent up sensual energies. But anyway, let's go ahead and move forward in this reading. Next, we're going to grab a couple of cards from the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle. Now, we're going to get at least one card for each side to represent how they are showing up in this conversation. Because though they might have, you know, these things on their mind, what they're showing up as could be completely different. So let's see how each person, excuse me, is showing up for this conversation. Okay, really fast. I don't know if someone's making dumplings right now or is like craving dumplings, but I just see it. And I want it. Like, let's go. <laughs> anyway. Or it could be, like, the egg roll, like, spring roll. Or both, actually. Ooh, y'all. <laughs> Maybe I'm just hungry. So let's get a card. Ooh, also, I got rabbit. So I'm not... Ooh, maybe we're eating rabbit. <laughs> no, but also, like, rabbit spirit. Hmm. Anyway. All right, we have peace here. For the spontaneity side, let's get a card for anger. You know, okay, I was seeing like the rabbit, right? And I was seeing it more of like a magic rabbit, like, oh, a magic white rabbit. And it was reminding me of a card that's on my Star Spinner Tarot on Group 1. So first of all, if you felt drawn to Group 1, you can. You can see if you want. Um, or if you're from Group 1, how you doing? But there's this one card... It's one of these. This one. Um, there's this one card. It's the moon card that has this magic white rabbit on there. So I just think you, dear one, are very, very mystical. Very magical. Tied into the moon deeply. If you're not feeling like that you are connected to the moon, you're like, nah, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, maybe like look into it because, shoot, I was same, same. And I'm like, no, I'm not affected by the moon. In fact, I was, like, ignoring moon energy. But not of the moon affects us all. Like, just on period. It's a whole <laughs> celestial body. Like, <laughs> the closest one to this planet is going to affect us. Anywho. So, for the spontaneity side, they received peace. The uh, plant is the olive. And the butterfly dragon is fashioned after the southern comma. Hmm, you know, there's a desert type of energy with this spontaneity person. It's like maybe the fires that the anger person is feeling is, has already passed. So all they're left with is peace and, you know, a dry desert. But let's, let's get more. So for the anger side, they received protection. The plant is the eucalyptus and the dragon is fashioned after the monarch butterfly a classic okay yeah we got some some big um 
matching uh, energy in this reading. Hmm. So, I don't know if I explained, but though the person, I don't know how spontaneity wants to show up. Maybe they want to show up as very excited. Maybe they want to show up as knowledgeable. Who knows? But the way that the anger person is seeing them is peace. So this anger person is seeing that the spontaneity person, ooh, first of all, can offer peace. Like, that would be a great solution to anger. But anyway, um, I see that the anger person knows that spontaneity is no longer like back and forth, back and forth everywhere, or going to a lot of different um, random places that don't seem to give them health or happiness for the long term. And instead they are choosing to be more mindful of themselves, okay? It's as if anger has seen spontaneity grow a bit and mature a bit. It's like, wow, that's really cool that you've done this. Great job. <laughs> and do you not see a happy face here? I do sense that spontaneity brings peace and joy to anger. And even if they could be going through their own um, issues at the moment, they can always depend on spontaneity to be a source of joy because I think spontaneity is just like this a lot. They're just a very bright person. I um, mean, it's very quick to smile for anger. If not for everybody, then at least for anger. And anger feels so um, special around spontaneity. You know, anger might see that spontaneity is very honest and will always tell anger what's on their mind or what they're feeling even when spontaneity doesn't share that with everyone around them let's hop into this protection card so for spontaneity i think that they do sense that anger is angry <laughs> or at the very least upset with what's going on with them right what's going on around them they're like oh my gosh they're not cool they're not okay but um they see that the anger person isn't trying to dump all of their issues onto spontaneity like they might just talk about it but then be like well but i'm doing my own thing or I'm, this is what i'm trying to do to fix it um and it seems healthy actually because Perhaps there are some here to where before spontaneity felt like they had to be the one to save anger or to give the solution to anger or just fix anger's life, you know? And, and it could have been out of love or whatever, but this is looking more so that, um, you know, anger is doing that on their own. Like they're taking it upon their themselves to do their healing and won't even allow spontaneity to do that like they're not even going to allow spontaneity spontaneity to use their energy to heal them or like their presence or their their words you know and spontaneity actually appreciates this because they can see the um fortitude that anger has made for themselves on how they're going to do well like it's like yes they're protecting themselves this way but they're also protecting others in their energy and their vicinity okay and I think, and I think spontaneity loves this. They feel so safe, okay, <laughs> in anger's presence. They're like, I'm good. As long as I'm with anger, I'm good. I'm safe. Nothing can hurt me. Okay. Now, with Loki, y'all, we're running out of time. I was trying to make all of these readings be, like, around 15 minutes, hopefully less. But, y'all, we're going to go over. It's all right. Now, we're going to grab what's next. Oh, yeah, tarot. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got our fairy tale tarot. We're going to see how the conversation actually plays out. Like, what y'all are going to talk about, what y'all might say. Um, and then I have, like, one more deck that's going to end this off. So let us see. All right, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Mm, okay, so, yeah, it's, like... Spontaneity, I think before with anger or maybe just in life, they held back a lot of what was on their mind, a lot of their ideas, a lot of their jokes, a lot of their opinion. Mm. 
it could have been for please people pleasing tendencies or it could have been for self-protection either way i see that spontaneity is out of that okay with this eight of swords in reverse they're no longer hiding what's really on their mind or what's really on their hearts okay whoa and i know the tarot readers are like where are you getting heart from <laughs> In this card, I mean, yes, my intuition, but also if you want, you can see that water here. And I just see it's like pouring out because of the truth shared by this Eight of Swords or this spontaneity person. Or it could have been an anger person, but for sure this. Anyway, we have the Magician in reverse. So I see that, you know, both of you actually might be quite practical when it comes to life events um even though yeah you might be here getting you know a tarot reading i think at the end of the day you're a pretty um grounded person um i think the other person is as well regardless of their side but i think when it comes to this conversation it feels like you're both of you will be trying to incorporate more spirituality magic from what you are, what you have done, and what you, where you would like to go. It almost feels like you guys would be trying to uh, ask, like, beseech the divine for a uh, clear. What's the word? For a solidification, no, for a certification that you guys will stay together. You know. Whoa. We have Emperor, what's you up, right? That's Aries energy, BT dubs. Um, so for some here, that's just indicative of timing. Of when this is to happen, Aries season. But we have Five of Swords. We'll leave it there because we do have to end this reading off soon. Now, mm. excuse me. I feel like this five is important for both of y'all because... I don't know what, maybe it was, maybe another reading, but I'm feeling like change is an important factor to this relationship because I think that you guys are going to talk about if you had been dating at this point or just if you knew each other and going forward, I think both of you intuitively, honestly, might just know a lot of changes might occur for you guys in the relationship and it could be as a result from maybe like family values um spiritual beliefs it could be a uh, religious background political difficulties you know what i'm saying like it just looks like both of you are, are going to be well aware of the obstacles that you guys will face in this relationship so should you decide to be together some it's like you will decide to be together separately and then make it work later on um, but it's like, even though both of you guys are gonna, y'all and y'all are very down to earth. You're gonna talk about how this relationship might not start off too easy, or you might have a lot to deal with. Um, and in fact, one person might talk about how they're not ready yet, you know what I'm saying? But they want, they want to be, they're just, they're just not ready at the moment. So it's just like, I don't know, maybe we're trying to look for some type of uh, confirmation or like promise that we would try to be together for the future, you know? Um, mm. let's go ahead and pull one last card. Now, oh, I'm getting a card from the Angel Guide Oracle to get what you both will be taking from this conversation. I feel like it could be this one, honestly. The Sacred Plan! Okay, yeah, no, if it was just like some, it's like we, we just got to follow life's plan. Like, even though I want this and you want this, it's just not feasible. Or like down the line, we might have some twists and turns to deal with, you know? So I love that you guys aren't trying to just look at this relationship through like rose-colored glasses. You're very real about this, but it's still very secret. So I think it's okay as long as you continue to to follow your intuition and then as long as they continue to follow their intuition. So let's go ahead and end this reading off here. 
Hooray, we did it, y'all. We made it to the end of yet another reading. Uh, another reading on my angel channel. Y'all, we we have grown so much. It's, it's mind boggling to me and I can only just say thank you so much for joining me in this reading, joining me on this channel's journey. Um, if you have been commenting, thank you. I see all the comments. I try to respond whenever I can or whatever I can. And then, um, if you have liked my videos, thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting me and helping us grow. Um, and as, and also like with the when if you subscribe and when you like, I can see like okay, like this is good. <laughs> we'll keep going for whatever topic that is for the reading, or you just really vibe with my energy. Um, and I was feeling in um the past reading really fast. We have expect powerful change new moon eclipse and now when i'm filming this it's a new moon this is the collective energy y'all okay expect powerful change um oh what was i saying well anyway uh yeah for those who have been here thank you so much and i'm expecting like because i kind of sense a lot of who is within our angel army and a lot of y'all are mad psychic like so much to where I'm understanding why I was meant to begin this channel as well because I said in the other um closing of the reading that I know there are there are those here throughout the reading like when I'm giving cards you get messages as well that could be very specific or whatever and it might not be for you and you could share it and so I'm like I feel for those here I want, I'm gonna give opportunities for those to share about certain cards throughout the reading. I haven't fully planned out how I want that to happen yet, so that's why I didn't do it yet, but just expect this. Um, if you've been feeling like, ooh, I got a message with that card, I'm getting an intuitive message with this type of setup or something, because I can only do, like, I can cast the net, right, for this, but I feel like those individuals will be able to get the specifics for others anyway last card <laughs> we have my flesh and my heart may fail but god is the strength of my heart and my portion forever bless psalm 73 26 okay um so yes oh also i do offer personal readings if you're ever interested i got my info in the description box but uh if this is where you are leaving me then i will see you in another reading okay Bye bye Hello and welcome to the vibe check section for group three. If you feel drawn to this group, let's make sure it's the right one for you. Now, if you've got it, please grab you a drink or snack. Cheers <laughs> to your reading. Mm. Okay, you know what's weird? <laughs> I literally just got kangaroo that came through. I don't know. So maybe that's someone's spirit animal, spirit guide, but kangaroo. And hey, maybe even like, what's it called? Uh, Australia is important here. But anyways, let's get into this card and these charms. Okay, um, also I'm kind of just giving like an image too. So I don't know if someone has like a wooden box that is filled with certain type of trinkets, curios, whatever. Um, but I am kind of seeing like this wooden object and it is kind of giving box, maybe like jewelry box something like that and um but maybe some here like actually do place this box this wooden box on an altar and like fill it with very special things i feel like that's part of a spell that people do but i don't know i want to say it is and look if you are doing some type of magic spell intention something with this box, I think it's on point, for real. Like, whatever, like, these intentional objects you're placing. I know this is very specific. Hold on for me, please. But it's just a very vivid, you know, image I'm seeing. Also, it might seem like a lot of people are gravitating to you at this time. Um, giving a lot of gifts. Um, giving you just a lot of attention, trying to understand what you're doing nowadays. Um, I see for some, yeah, it could have been a result from a certain glow up, you know, and so people are just being like, oh, what are you doing? What's going on now? Because you look so different. You look so refreshed or open. Um, others, it could have just been like we, with this gold um, four leaf clover, it could have been like, oh, maybe we super are lucky at this time, man. Like, it's just a lot of great things are happening, so people are just around you. It, you know, it kind of just seems more 
of an energetic thing than more of like an event type of thing specifically it's just like your energy is just very your energy is very attractive at this time and it could be because you know with the silver um uh flutist charm it's like you have you are like calling for these great things like praying for these great things writing them down doing the work for it and it's like it's just all coming back to you right now you know there's also a card I'm getting for you in tarot. It could look like nine of pentacles or like the world, maybe even maybe empress, maybe. But this is, you know, six of pentacles as well. Like this is giving like you have invested a lot of time in this skill or like these different things these good great things you'd like to come for you and this is the work being paid off now now we are harvesting or in harvest mode but let's go ahead and end off our vibe check here if all i got just now has not been you then now is the time to choose another group or another video um and really fast when i saw the clock it said three two one so i don't know maybe it's like countdown <laughs> but anyway if what i got just now um has not been you choose another group or video but if what i got just now has been you then let's get right into your reading Hello, group three. Let's go ahead and begin. Now, we're going to start off by using the mirror cards, okay? We're going to get one card for one person and one card for the other person. And what these cards are going to represent is the mindset of that person going into this conversation, okay? So, let's see. Now, and throughout the reading, as we explain, you know, what that person's mindset is what they might be going through then you'll be able to pick out which side correlates more to you okay so first out we have number one acceptance beautiful energy i love it like it's just the soft green it's giving me lotus do y'all see that lotus flower um but let's go ahead and get another card almost hold up okay <laughs> <laughs> so this other card we have sadness here number 25 Boop. okay now let's read this uh through the reading i'll be referring to this acceptance card side as the acceptance person or just acceptance and then i'll refer to this side person as sadness okay oh Ooh, excuse me i hope y'all did not hear that Okay, so we have acceptance here. Number one, really fast, actually, I feel like this number one's a bit more important to start off with. When it comes to this person's mindset for this conversation, um, they're actually trying to give this sadness person an idea. They're trying to say, oh, this is something new that you might want to try, okay? Number one is indicative of starting something new, starting a new journey, um, a new plan. But first of all, we have to get the idea first. You can think of the number one kind of like ace of swords in tarot, where it's like, aha, I can try this. However, I'm seeing this person is trying to transfer that to the sadness person. Overall, a self-explanatory message that you probably got, I hope so, is that acceptance, okay, is really trying to show that sadness is accepted, um, at the very least with this person to acceptance, okay? Um, because when it comes to this sadness side, um, I see that they are going into this conversation with just trying to be honest about what they've been going through, um, you know, why they have been feeling sad for a moment or have been going through a lot of sad type of um, events. And so I think they're just trying to explain to the acceptance person why they are the way they are at this time. Because I don't think the acceptance, person's, the acceptance person has seen a lot of the journey that sadness has been going through. Either because, hey, maybe it's just, you know, different lives, different paths or whatever. But also it could have just been where sadness wasn't really showing all of what they had been going through or telling a lot of people they might have just been going through going at it alone here um but overall i do sense a very empathetic energy between these two people um more it's all for the understanding of another and for them to feel 
safe. Like this is um a safe space where where this conversation is taking place. Um, and when it comes to this safe space, I feel more so that acceptance either A, has gotten information about sadness, that sadness hasn't told acceptance and will wait until sadness will tell them, or B, this acceptance person has might have felt something in their intuition of like, mm, something's not right with sadness. Let me go ahead and just open up this space, this time, so they can just tell me whatever they feel they can or just vent, you know, um, heavily empathetic energy. And two, I kind of feel with sadness, I feel like the status person is even a bit more empathetic than the acceptance person, even though I think both are pretty great empaths. But I think that sadness had been going through a lot of turmoil or a lot of loss or whatever it, on their side like in their life or the people around them you know they might have had to help other people through um grieving processing and releasing you know but um yeah you, know, you might be connected to group two. no 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 group one mm -hmm. uh but anyway uh, yeah and you know what i think this person sadness they understand what it means to process an emotion and then heal from it get better from it um so i think that this sadness person is just trying to do their best to be vulnerable to acceptance okay or at least that's what's on their mind that's what they want to do because i don't think they uh, they want to be healed and they want to feel better you know about what they've been going through and their steps moving forward and i want to say their steps moving forward due to this yellow and um orange energy coming through that's sacral and a solar plexus chakra coming through right the center of it all okay perhaps the sadness person had been given a lot of rejection like in life like maybe if it's just from family growing up oh you can't do these things whatever but I think they've been working through that throughout their, at least their adult life of, no, I can attain what I want. I can get what I feel is, is right for me. Um, and I think this person, this acceptance person is giving this loving, beautiful energy of accepting, like, yes, you're acceptance. You're accepted. Yes, your dream is accepted, no matter what it is. Um, and whether you can attain it or not, it's just, I accept you. You know, I acknowledge you. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the next deck. I grabbed the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle because I wanted to get a card or two for each person to see how they are going to show up for this conversation. Now, it's, it might get a little tricky of how this is to be, but I'll do my best to explain um, as we read, okay? So the acceptance person received persistence. Let's see what sadness gets. Okay, on the sadness side, we have ambition. All right. So here, let me put these cards to the side. Excuse me, goodness. I just like had a small snack. So <laughs> anyway, if you want to get an up close look for the acceptance side, the flower for persistence is the euphorbia okay so it might be a tree actually but anyway the dragon is fashioned after the african swallowtail butterfly now here's what i mean where this might get a little bit tricky but the way i explain i think it'll be clear um now regardless of how the acceptance person is wanting to show up for this conversation this is how they are seen by the other person by sadness okay so sadness sees persistence for acceptance okay they see that acceptance has not given up they still don't give up on their dreams and like the thing is it's looking like both acceptance and sadness had been going through similar pathways of trying certain things, getting rejected, trying this, getting rejected, or being misdirected, maybe like one step forward, two steps back type of deal. I think, however, the difference is the reaction to these changes, okay? Because I feel like for the acceptance side, as they're speaking about their journey, sadness is noticing that they took more strength on, they took more faith on their journey when they were given like 
of failure or something when they had fallen, they knew, okay, I, this is how I can get better. This is where I can improve, you know? Um, this is what I really want, but maybe I'm not ready yet. So let me make sure I am ready and I'm gonna try it again, okay? Like, I feel like this is how, this is what this person is, is talking about. This is how they're talking. This is how acceptance is talking to sadness, okay? And I feel like they are sharing this part of their journey so that sadness can follow their ambition, okay? Because acceptance sees the ambition of sadness, all right? This is, am I kind of making sense? I hope I am. If I'm not, let me know in the comment, okay? But um, here, for a close-up look, the ambition flower is the hollycock, and the dragon is fashioned after the painted lady. So pretty. Um, I think it's an Asian butterfly too. But anyways, um, the sadness person, as they are sharing all of the different rejections they have had, their energy is like, I think they kind of gave up on these certain, um, what's it called, trails? options of how they wanted to get to their goals what they wanted to achieve along the journey it feels like they had either given up on a lot of these things the trial of it and had to just do something else or change their mind who knows or it's like they were never fully satisfied with what they were trying at different times it's like okay i thought i wanted this and dang this isn't what i this is what i want anymore Okay, so let me try this, because I think I'm interested in that, I like this, but, okay, I'm doing it, and, oh my god, it sucks, you know? Or, it, 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 it can even be where, like, sadness is, had done an action, and they liked it so much, they were having so much fun, but then, something happened in life to where it was taken from them, you know? And they were given so much discouragement, um, because I feel like at this conversation, um, except then to notice that sadness is discouraged, they're just like, I don't even... I can't. I literally don't even have hope anymore. It's just, it's just kind of like a given, given up type of energy. But here, let's go ahead and continue. Now we're going to grab your tarot cards. Now we're gonna get these to see how the conversation is actually gonna play out between you two. Okay. For, I just got like a manatee, you know, so I don't know if there are those here who follow the manatee or have been seeing a manatee a lot. Eight of Wands. You know, they call manatees freshwater mermaids. I think, yeah, that's what it is. Freshwater mermaids or some type of mermaid. So you might have mermaid energy, dear one. But anyway. Okay, so yeah, so far we got the Eight of Wands out here upright. We have the Page of Pentacles array. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. Uh, okay, okay, so you just got the Three of Pentacles. So here's what I was getting. So with this um, acceptance person, this idea, okay, the idea is this Eight of Wands being like, you can try this, you can try that, like, let's see what we can do together, right? And that's the real tea. Let's see what we can do together. Three of Pentacles. Um, this acceptance person, yeah, with this page of Pentacles, it's like, here's my idea, here's what I want to start, or here's this project, I don't know, do you want to join me? Like, what can you do? Or it's like, this could even be like a plan, like a life type of plan. It's like, well, you know what? Here's what I've done in the past, like, for when I was dealing with um, a rejection or whatever. It's like, acceptance person might be, okay, first, I drew myself, or yeah, I drew myself at the place or where I was. I drew myself doing what I was doing. I, I drew myself where I was. And I put what I would have felt about it. And then I'll put how I felt about it now. How I feel about it now. And then I have to put what I would, what these things, how I could find that in this other, in another option, right? This is how I keep going. And I take this old drawing, I rip it up and I burn it. And then I keep going, you know, it's just looking like, and that was, that's the acceptance plan. All right. So it's just looking like whatever this acceptance plan is, whatever they do to move forward, to propel forward, that's what they're giving to sadness. Okay. Excuse me. No, thank you. Also, I'm seeing energy of uh, the dog here. It might be like a French bulldog. Well, also Dalmatian. But anyway. 
We have eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so yeah, no, um, you are getting eight, eight master number work to be done here. All right, it's eight of pentacles in reverse. Now, there's a lot of work to be done, and I feel like that sadness had to have this um conversation with acceptance because um there was a truth revealed even to themselves that they might have been ignoring or um decided that uh, it wasn't for them or about them anymore okay and then it's like through that conversation they're like oh my god no i really do want this or i didn't even think about this for years and it's like whatever they're thinking acceptance could possibly have a whole plan for that of what they're wanting like, oh i know how to do that or I, I know someone who does that it could connect you but or them who i don't know whoever is person person let's continue ace of pentacles okay kind of reiterating um a new type of plan here you new know, these, these are actions that can be long lasting something that sadness needs to stay with to stick with and do it again and do it again until it's perfect okay that's what the eight of pinnacles is about like you see he did this pinnacle he wasn't satisfied he did that pinnacle wasn't satisfied he kept going until he was finally satisfied he even has one down here <laughs> he's like okay now this and even then this card is still looking like homeboys really <laughs> looking to see like okay is this right for me you know it could have been so where sadness was moving, uh, doing a lot of things um, so much so fast to where they weren't really able to slow down and see the environment of where they were, why they were there, what they're made to take from it or what they could have done, you know? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't their idea. It's like this acceptance person is giving a whole new perspective to sadness. Overall, it's kind of how this conversation is going. Like, I don't want to reiterate anything else. And you know what's funny too? Group one received uh, the Wheel of Fortune um, as well. I want to say they even received... No, it wasn't the Emperor. But anyway, we can get... Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. Like, this is what's giving me Ace of Swords. Like, it's not... Sadness idea, it's acceptance idea. It's gonna be a good one. Um, they might take their time to be like, is it for me? But um, yeah, it's gonna happen regardless if they choose it or not. So anyway, um, no need to worry. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Let me go ahead and leave these out because we have one more card to get after this. Put these here. I'll put this there. And I wanted to grab one card from the Angel Guide Oracle. And we're going to get this card to see what your angels would like you to take from this conversation. What you're going to keep from here. Manifestation! Uh, well, ain't that perfect. Here it is, close up. But yeah, I think this is a whole new type of manifestation journey for but the both of y'all, honestly. But here, let me make sure everything's visible. Okay, and we're going to end this off here. Hooray! We did it, y'all! We made it to the end of yet another reading. Uh, another reading on my Angel channel. Y'all, we we have grown so much. It's, it's mind-boggling to me, and I can only just say thank you so much for joining me in this reading, joining me on this channel's journey. Um, if you have been commenting, thank you. I see all the comments. I try to respond whenever I can or whatever I can. And then, um... If you have liked my videos, thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting me and helping us grow. Um, and as, and also like with the when if you subscribe and when you like, I can see like okay, like this is good. <laughs> we'll keep going for whatever topic that is for the reading, or you just really vibe with my energy. Um, and I was feeling in um the past reading really fast. We have expect powerful change new moon eclipse and now when i'm filming this it's a new moon this is the collective energy y'all okay expect powerful change um oh what was i saying well anyway uh yeah for those who have been here thank you so much and i'm expecting like because i kind of sense a lot of who is within our angel army and a lot of y'all are mad psychic like so much to where I'm understanding why I was meant to begin this channel as well because I said in the other um, closing of the reading that 
I know there are, there are those here throughout the reading, like when I'm giving cards, you get messages as well that could be very specific or whatever, and it might not be for you, and you could share it, and so I'm like, I feel for those here, I want, I'm going to give opportunities for those to share about certain cards throughout the reading. I haven't fully planned out how I want that to happen yet, so that's why I didn't do it yet, but just expect this. Um, if you've been feeling like, ooh, I got a message with that card, I'm getting an intuitive message with this type of setup or something, because I can only do, like, I can cash the net, right, for this, but I feel like those individuals will be able to get the specifics for others. Anyway, last card. <laughs> we have my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Bless. Psalm 73, 26. Okay. Um, so yes. Oh, also I do offer personal readings if you're ever interested. I got my info in the description box, but uh, if this is where you are leaving me, then I will see you in another reading. Okay. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to the vibe check section for group four. If you felt drawn to this one, then let's make sure this group's the right one for you. If you have it, please grab a drink or your snack. Cheers to your reading. Okay, so when I was pulling your card and the charm, I got this like frustrated type of energy. It's like, oh, this isn't working or I can't figure it out. I don't know, just frustration. Um, and I guess it could be a result of different things here, general reading, but still, that's the overall vibe. And I sense it's like, the frustration is kind of a result of things that were out of your control, but still kind of happened to you, you know what I'm saying? And there are those here who did try to do the opposite of whatever this situation is or whatever the outcome of the situation would have been to so it wouldn't make you frustrated but it's like it still didn't work though you know this is looking like for example like let's say let's say you went to school to be a doctor and everything and let's say like yeah you were a doctor for five years and then like maybe you took five years break and now you're trying to go back and so you have all this schooling, all this experience, but now all of a sudden it's like, and, and you feel like it's time to go back into the field, but you're getting like all these rejections that was like, okay, I'm a doctor and I'm a good doctor, but I'm not being taken anywhere. Like, why aren't these hospitals like taking me on? This isn't making any sense. And it's like frustrating, you know? Hmm. And, you know, with this tree charm, I'm seeing it's because, you know, with our divine plans and how every lifetime is meant to be lived, it's like, Right now, I think you're kind of being redirected, like, specifically on one path towards what is meant for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even if something was successful in the past, and, like, you are being blocked from it, or it's not happening, it's because you are being blocked from it, like, from your spirit team. Like, you're meant to be doing something else. This isn't the reading, I guess, to see what that would be. Um, I suggest looking that up when you can. But, um... That is the main energy I'm getting right now. Um, so like there are a couple here who it's like other people who know you or like family or cousins might have understood like a goal that you wanted. And right now it's like they're working. It's like they're networking with people who are in your field or know about your field so that you that they can connect you, you know what I mean? So you might want to ex um, expect a call or email text something from like this, it could probably be a cousin or family member, like I'm not even getting friend that just is wanting to hook you up with what they got, you know, their people. But anyway, is that it? Oh no, we still got one more group. Okay, let's go ahead and um, end the vibe check off here. If all I got just now has not been you, then now is the time to choose another group or another video. But if what I got just now has been you, then let's get right into your reading. Okay, group four, let's begin. So here we're going to start off by using the mirror cards and we're going to get one card per person to represent what's on their mind or what's, you know, really playing under the surface of the, oh my god, <laughs> hello, goodness, it's too much. Okay, actually, shoot, maybe both of y'all be some overthinkers, but anyway, um, we're going to get these cards to represent um, their intention when it comes to this conversation yours and their conversation their um, 
My, why can't I not speak all of a sudden? Okay, so for this group, some here you might be ESL or be bi bilingual. Others, um, when it comes to this um, meeting between you two, could be actually be very nervous. Um, and honestly, so already we have this friendship card number 13. So this could be energies changing from friendship to a partnership. You know what I'm saying? And that can be a lot of... Ah! <laughs> butterflies and cray cray so let's continue um really fast the friendship card is number 13 and then this actually goes together you know what i like so far like throughout the reading the cards have been going been they've been pretty compatible so i like this anyway the next card is humor number 15 okay so let's begin with uh the friendship person throughout this reading by the way i'm going to be referencing each side as the friendship person or the humor person and as we talk about the personality traits and life events of each person you'll be able to tell which one's you okay so make sure, make sure that's visible i want to start with the friendship side here number 13 you know um actually this person might feel quite lucky be very lucky indeed um it could have just been in life in general like they found that a lot of just good things happen to them um things that they want kind of just end up showing up in their life and they didn't have to even do too much to get it and it's great they love it um but overall though i am kind of getting that this person is sharing that energy with the humor person um I, I this could be that you know they got two tickets to the amusement park and they're inviting humor to go and it's gonna be a great time or this is looking like it could be going to a concert it could be like a paint and sit type of deal it just looks like overall that the friendship energy is wanting to share their energy with humor because they know it's gonna be a great time i mean let's be honest here if there's already friendship y'all already know each other like <laughs> y'all already cool mad cool can share hella jokes between each other a lot of inside jokes and excuse me i don't know how i'm seeing such an indiv individualistic type of energy with this um image here like doesn't it look like if an artist made it like only one they only, only they could have made it this is one in a once in a i don't know the words my goodness <sighs> i'm not trying to say once in a lifetime thing it's like a one one a, one in a million you know but it's just like both of you guys are one in a million this connection is very specific to you guys other people might see it and they might think it's great, but they just might not understand fully how it works between you two. Interesting. You two are actually quite interesting. Um, we might draw a lot of uh, public eye. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't even mean to get into this energy. Um, it's just very, very interesting. Uh, that's all I will say, but let me get back to the whole topic of this reading. So, when it comes to the friendship side they are honestly just sharing even more of the relationship you guys already have it's a great time you know what the weird thing is though i feel that when it comes to this next conversation friendship is on friendship and that's cool yeah they might have feelings for humor or not we gonna see we gonna see but humor is the one who's going to pull up on let's talk about some us oh y'all i don't know <laughs> this is getting deep i don't i love the tea <laughs> Because, okay, look, because I'm seeing with humor, it's like they're the type of person to be able to, like, easily, and a lot of people can do this, right? But they can easily bring up what's truly on their mind, what's truly on their heart, what they want to talk about, but, like, make it a joke. And you know what? The thing is with you guys, or, yeah, you guys being friends, it's like it's easy to make jokes about anything because y'all already been friends. Y'all already joke about everything. So it's like this person might bring up, oh, my gosh, so what if we were married? Ha, ha, ha. And they're looking at friendship like, but what if we were married, though? And it's like friendship's going to be like, ooh, it was cool. But anyway, this is cool. Let's continue because I want to see what the tarot says. Um, I want to give a lot of time for it. Now, we're going to be using the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle to get a card or two for each person's side. To get, um, put this back over there. 
uh, to get how they're going to show up for this conversation. You know, regardless of what's on their mind, how they're going to be seen, you know, by the other person. And I'll, I'll explain more as we get the cards. No, we just got that for another group. If you saw it, it was spirituality. If you're from that group, hey. But anyway, no. Nah. I don't know why, but I'm getting Leo energy, the lion, the lion. So this could be indicative of timing, like it could be around Leo season, or one of y'all got strong Leo as sun, moon, or rising. But that's, that's not too much of the case. This is more so the Leo timing. It's July, right? June, July? No, 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 no. July, August. July, August is August. I mean, is Leo. But, um, okay, so far we've got endurance for the friendship person. And then we have beginnings for the humor person. Talk about them, gratitude. Yeah, no, I think, like, at the end of the day, both of y'all feel so thankful to have met each other. It's just because, you know, it's, it's soul tribe, you know, you can be yourself. You, you can be yourselves, and it's so readily and happily reciprocated by the other person. You know, it's not even, it just matches so well. The energy is bouncing back between you guys so easily. It flows very nicely. Anyway, <clears throat> so with the endurance card, the plant is the cactus, and the dragon is fashioned after the pipe vine swallowtail. And so what I was trying to explain earlier is that humor is seeing the friendship person as endurance, as someone who is very enduring, okay? Regardless of how friendship is trying to show up, humor sees friendship as great endurance, okay? And, um, here, let me move this gratitude out the way. If you want to get a close-up, the flower is the bluebell and the dragon is fashioned after the brimstone butterfly. Uh, but anywho, um, humor sees, uh, okay, hold up. You know, I'm kind of, look, me personally, I'm kind of upset because this is similar to, what group are we on? Group four? Child, I don't know. This is similar to other groups, but anyway, um, I think when it comes to the friendship person, they might not have seen how strong they have gotten or how tough they've gotten, you know, um, humor's gonna be giving mad props to friendship, be like, yo, okay, you know what that thing you went through that, um, I don't know, could have been, like, that sickness, that illness, you handled it like a champ, okay? Like, you did not complain, you didn't whine, you took all the medicine you could have, um, even though the illness let's say it could have been god forbid this happens to anyone right now but like it could have been pneumonia or something and it's like humor's like you know pneumonia could take people out but you took it in stride you're like no i'm gonna get through this i'm gonna get past this now i'm just saying that one sickness as an, an ex example but overall uh yeah it's like humor is what's the word my english giving recognition to friendship for the uh, endurance that they have, honestly. Okay, and now over here with beginnings, this is getting a bit tricky. You know, look, I'm, the thing is, this is tricky that I'm feeling because humor isn't showing everything. Humor is not showing everything to friendship. They're not sharing all of what's on their mind. Not yet. Not yet. They're not showing all of their heart. So it's like, Friendship's like, okay, so what's going on with you? What's what's cool, right? Humor's like, you know, I'm trying to do this. I want to do that. And, and they're saying these things that they want in life, okay? And But the thing is, some of the things they want in life, a couple of the things that they're saying, they know that friendship wants, okay? And they want to talk about it. They want to talk about how they could possibly, or see if humor would, would possibly bring up how both of you could do the things humor is saying together, you know? They're like, okay, you know, I want to, I want to get a dog one day and I want to, um, go on a three week cruise to Jamaica or whatever, you know? And so they're trying to say these things that they want and other things, but they're like, 
I know friendship likes Jamaica and I know they like dogs, so let's see if they want to do it. You know, it's like that. Or at least even joke about it. And the friendship's like, oh my God, we can totally go on a cruise. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like this. The humor person is quite uh, clever. Let's continue on though, because we're low key running out of time. I was trying to make these readings like 15 minutes. So I'm gone to 18. Um, so I don't know. Anyway, we're, okay. Yeah, we're going to get your tarot now. Your Zeke's Arcana, boom, to see how the conversation's actually going to play out. Let's see here. Mm. Whoa, two aces at the same time, damn. Okay, they came out reverse though, that's the T. It's Ace of Coins and the Ace of Swords. Hidden, hidden, misdirection. We don't see, this is this is too much. Some um, this conversation is happening over dinner, okay? You know what, and the thing is, I feel like maybe one of y'all, I don't know, planned to have the dinner for both of you guys just together after y'all had like had a day or something and the thing is like yeah okay no this is general reading so maybe half here it was just the two of y'all hanging out in that day but i'm also sensing another half here where it's like y'all were with friends and a group of friends and then i don't know they all peeled off and then it's just y'all two having dinner together mm-hmm one-on-one so much balance so much balance actually has been coming through all of the groups so that's great and you know what though the real talk is i think it's because of this age of aquarius thing um, that we're all going through it's like yeah realization of deep truth for everybody and so deep truth is like what you really want what you really love your partner ew anyway <laughs> let's continue we have page of swords in reverse nine of wands in reverse i'm trying to get these cards out so y'all can have more time for message. We have King of Swords upright. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on. Oops. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands in reverse. Sorry. Ten of Wands in reverse. Bumblebee. That could be someone's name, nickname. Bumblebee. Yeah, I kind of knew this was going to melt. This, these groups are connected. And I think it was, hell, I forget. I think this might have been group two that had a couple of tens in reverse. And I think it was a ten, it was a Wheel of Fortune and then um, a ten of swords in reverse. And this is the other three. So if you felt drawn to another group, please have at it. Uh, but anyway, so when it comes to this conversation, at the end of the day, both of you guys, yes, are very balanced, but... Even though the friendship person, the friendship person is ignoring a lot of their romantic feelings when it comes to the humor person. They feel it and they feel it strongly, so they put it to the side. On their end, they're just, they really do enjoy this friendship, so they're not trying to, you know, mess everything up. And the thing is, humor is so good at hiding their emotions and misdirecting how they truly feel to where it's working. Friendship only really kind of sees them as good friends, and they don't really pick up on a lot of the hints the humor is, is giving, is putting down, okay? Okay. the humor hints are too good <laughs> so French is like oh okay they just want to stay friends because I'm also seeing that with this ace of coins and ace of swords in reverse um the friendship person is going to talk about they're going to avoid talking about how both of you could have done the same things before could like I don't know like they don't want to give a hint that they've thought that that they've thought about you two being in a relationship I'm saying they, this could be you, all right? But anyway, also with this conversation, um, friendship is going to, they're going to be shedding their outer selves. They're going to be showing their emotions, but it feels uh, fake, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. They're showing fake emotions here, bro. I just... Y'all are tricky, man. Because the thing is, I see with this Ten of Pentacles that 
this relationship could be written in the stars, honestly, with the Justice 2. But a lot of what is stopping this relationship from happening is both of you guys are not talking about how you feel about the other person or like a true future. Both of you are avoiding feelings about each other. In this conversation, you're going to talk about literally everything under the sun except your feelings. Notice, you have zero cups out here. Cups are emotionally, the emotion cards in reading in a tarot, you know, you have absolutely zero. And that's on purpose. Both of you are doing your very best to hide your emotions from the other person. Good Lord. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I want to do so much in life. You might want it and could it be... Man, somebody here needs to tell the truth, man. I don't... I don't know. Let me... What time are we at? We're out of time. Let me get you the last card. So, uh... uh I got the Angel Guide Oracle. We're going to get one of these cards to get, like, what your angels would like for both y'all to take from this conversation. My goodness. We'll, we'll take this. We will. No. No. We're gonna get one more because I think that just needs to come out here. Self-acceptance. Accept yourself. Accept your feelings. Accept the love you have. <laughs> Hold on, let's see the real tea. Whoa. Okay. Oh, this is kind of deep, y'all. Like, this is looking like soul contract type of deal. Twin flame type of deal in a romantic sense. Because that shit is a whole other thing. <sighs> one, one second. Okay, so here's what we got. And then we got to go. So, with this self-acceptance card, I understood that the more uh, both of these people accept themselves for all of who they are and all of what they truly desire, they would understand that they deserve what they are desiring, um, at the very least, when it comes to a relationship with the other person. And the self-acceptance is that they have to accept how they feel about the other person. It's not changing. It's not going to change unless it's brought up, okay? Um, and I see that both of you would, ha would have had to trust the universe and when it is time to share how much you have accepted of yourself, how much you would like to accept the other person. And just, hey, maybe it's annoying to say this, but also another group got a whole card, a mirror card that was about acceptance. So I swear, like, if you for real feel like drawn to another group please see it because there's more information but anyway um let's go ahead i think you know what trust the universe means <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and end this off here hooray we did it y'all we made it to the end of yet another reading uh, another reading on my angel channel y'all we we have grown so much it's it's mind-boggling to me and i can only just say thank you so much for joining me in this reading joining me on this channel's journey um if you have been commenting thank you i see all the comments i try to respond whenever i can or whatever i can and then um if you have liked my videos, thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting me and helping us grow. Um, and, as, and also, like, with the, when, if you subscribe and when you like, I can see, like, okay, like, this is good. <laughs> we'll keep going for whatever topic that is for the reading. Or you just really vibe with my energy. Um, and I was feeling in um, the past reading really fast, we have expect powerful change new moon eclipse and now what i'm feeling in this it's a new moon this is the collective energy y'all okay expect powerful change um oh what was i saying well anyway uh yeah for those who have been here thank you so much and i'm expecting like because i kind of sense a lot of who is within our angel army and a lot of y'all are mad psychic like so much to wear I'm understanding why I was meant to begin this channel as well because I said in the other um closing of the reading that I know there are there are those here throughout the reading like when I'm giving cards you get messages as well that could be very specific or whatever and it might not be for you and you could share it and so I'm like I feel for those here I'm, I'm gonna give opportunities 
for those to share about certain cards throughout the reading. I haven't fully planned out how I want that to happen yet, so that's why I didn't do it yet, but just expect this. Um, if you've been feeling like, ooh, I got a message with that card, I'm getting an intuitive message with this type of setup or something, because I can only do, like, I can cash the net, right, for this. But I feel like those individuals will be able to get the specifics for others. Anyway, last card. <laughs> we have my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Bless. Psalm 73, 26. Okay. Um, so, yes. Oh, also, I do offer personal readings if you're ever interested. I got my info in the description box. But uh, if this is where you are leaving me, then I will see you in another reading, okay? Bye-bye. Hello and welcome to the vibe check section for group five. If you felt drawn to this group, let's make sure it's the right one for you. Now, if you ha uh, got it, please grab a drink or a snack. Cheers <laughs> to your reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, so overall right now, I'm feeling like the vibe for you, like regime, is more like, let's have some fun. It's a little mischievous, you know? <laughs> It could be a little trouble, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I like that's the energy. It's making me laugh because it's like, this is crazy. Y'all are doing the most. This, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's not like you are messy or like petty, but it's like we can just do maybe things that could be like this. Or I don't know. Like, it's just, it was like, we are out here just to have some fun. We'll, we'll shake things up, see what happens. <laughs> and then we'll be, we'll be fine. Oh, you actually might be connected to group four. Not because I have the same message, but uh, I don't think I told them. But I was seeing like a reverberating butterfly and I had to just get the message whatever with that. But if you felt connected to the previous group, confirmation. Anyway, um, with this butterfly, right, though? Um, so, you know, what? it's looking like you might be dependent on at this moment for like a lot of people might be asking you questions um they need your services uh your expertise this is looking like yeah less more of service more so of your knowledge oh want to know what you know some here could be you know counselors um readers like myself uh what's it life coaches this is looking like a lot of people want to know what you know, like pass on knowledge here. And I'm seeing like for you, you might feel a deep responsibility to uplift others, to enlighten others. Like you're meant to be passing on knowledge a lot of the time and like in teaching for real, like I'm seeing this very deeply. In a lot of aspects where, where you feel that you have mastered, this is where you can teach, right? And perhaps, Spirit has been sending you a lot of four, 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 a lot of fours, um, also a lot of sixes and a lot of sevens. Maybe nines, maybe nines, but I'm seeing more fours, sixes, and sevens, and these are disciplinary and, what's the word, like explain, like something to be explained here, it's like, like, in explained in a disciplined fashion it's like you know you're not explaining all of the subject matter all at once it's like little by little increments this pile this group could be for you if you have been trying to pace yourself with learning different life cycles learning about different people you know this is looking like you have taken a lot of time to get to your certain to get to this point um and it's like you took it upon yourself, though, for the majority of this journey to discipline yourself and really learn, to integrate here. Mm. This is the spirit guide of the elephant, okay? Blue whale, too. The big mammals. Okay, let's go ahead and end our vibe check here. If all I got just now has not been you, then now is the time to choose another group or another video. But if what I got just now has been you, then let's get right into your reading. Alrighty, y'all. Let's go ahead and get started, group five. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Little brain fart. I was like, what are we starting with? So we're going to start with the mirror cards, as we did for every other group. <laughs> um, And we're going to get 
one card to represent the mindset of either person in this uh, conversation. Whoa. No, we just had this for group four. Are you kidding me? Fine. <laughs> we'll use it again. Okay, we have humor, number 15. If you're from group four, hey love. <laughs> Let's continue. I'm sick of my cards. <laughs> Can I have one, please? Pretty please. That's one. Okay. Ooh, empathy. I hate this reading. Y'all, okay, look. If you like seeing this group for the first time, these different groups have had different correlations for different people. It's all mixed up in here. So just, and again, if you felt drawn to another group, like if you felt drawn to two, get, get y'all readings because it's, there's a lot out here <laughs> and I'm just like, help me. Anyway, um, so for this person, I'll be referring to them as humor, okay? They're number 15. And then I'll be referring to the other person as empathy. They are number 10. And throughout the reading, as we explain more of personality traits and life events, you'll be able to determine which one is you, okay? Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Okay. So with this uh, humor person, their mindset is that of laughter is the best medicine they are this is looking like dark humor type of deal so um i think that when it comes to this conversation they're trying to like they don't want to change empathy's feelings about what they have gone through and they don't want to change their perspective either per se they just want to give them a chance to like, give them the chance to change their own perspective, change their own feelings of, of what happens to them or around them, you know? Um, not to say that empathy is, like, going through it at the moment. Some might be, but uh, overall, I'm sensing that empathy had just actually completed a hard-ass journey. <laughs> like, with this 10, it's like, oof, God, finally it's over. <laughs> Um, and it's looking like, uh, with this empathy person, that, what, hold on, uh, it's like, it's like what they had gone through, they're meant to share to other people, you know, it's like, y'all, let me tell you about my journey, <laughs> It has not been easy. <laughs> yes, I cried. Like, this is looking like this person, yeah, they they had gone through it. That's what it was. And they're done. It's not like they need any more healing or per se. But it looks like they are sharing what it means to go through trials and tribulation and then go through that. This person, it's giving testimony over here. They're like, you guys, I was down in the dumps. I was going to give up. Kind of did give up. But... <laughs> There was one part of me that was just like, just one more day or one more time. And I did it. And I kept on going. I don't know. But anyway, this person, humor, is really like listening to the story of empathy. And that's what they want to do. They love to listen to empathy. They're very, with this humor, they're very entertained by empathy. They love spending time with empathy. But anyway, they are. And they're, look, they're making jokes about all the different BS that empathy has gone through. They're like, oh, that must have sucked. <laughs> I know that hurt or whatever. I don't know. But just overall, I'm seeing that um, the way humor is empathizing with empathy is sh is sharing the the absurdity of it all. Okay. Um, I think humor is someone who is actually quite wise. And I think they understand the cycles of the world quite easily. This is giving the energy of the unbothered monk in the mountains, right? <laughs> and look, it's not they're unbothered just because they live in the mountains. But no, it's they're unbothered because they know life is going to continue the way it's going to continue. Like, regardless of how much you would like to change it or not, it's going to be what it will be. Um, I think humor has understood the way that they affect reality and the way reality affects them, okay? Mm, but 
let's get deeper. You guys are quite philosophical. Wow. Well, anyway, um, let's get a bit deeper. Go a bit further with the Enchanted Blossoms Oracle. We're going to get a card or two for either side. And these cards are going to represent how the person is showing up to the other in this conversation. Okay, I'll explain a bit more as we get the cards. So humor has appreciation. Cool. Don't get this card often, actually. But then again, I barely be using these cards. Um, and then here, empathy, God, magnificence. This is great. Okay, so here's what I mean when how the person shows up in this conversation. So regardless of how humor is saying with their dark humor and jokes, whatever, empathy is seeing humor as appreciative. Um, I think humor has been able to have this overall accepting slash um, serendipitous type of feeling when it comes to life and life events. Right? And it's because they learned how to appreciate all different aspects of their life. Have you not met a fully divine person, fully realized person who doesn't take the solace of gratitude in every breath or in every sip of water, you know, in every um, person that they meet? Like, humor is, man, quite evolved when it comes to their spiritual journey. Um, and empathy sees that. They're like, dang. <laughs> humor is not all just shits and giggles this is like they understand that there is so much joy to the life around them and that's what they pick up on and, and share because you know what even with this humorous type of energy i feel that people just um experience this humor person as the sun you know as so much love light and positivity just a lot it's great and it's not just because that's what life is and it's not because humor is a happy-go-lucky person and they don't know what life is they do they really do they truly do and that's why they are so appreciative now let's go over here now, oh, I didn't even explain. So really fast, appreciation. The flower is the sunflower and the dragon is fashioned after the Diana fritillary. We'll talk about more of that later. But anyway, so more so over here with the empathy person, magnificence. So the uh, plant is the bird of paradise and the dragon is fashioned after the common mother of pearl. I love it, so pretty. I was about to say, wait, how is it pearlescent? But can y'all see, like, there's, like, this purplish, yellow, greenish, green, little purple there. You know, um, hmm. The, the empathy person actually might be quite clear cognizant with all this violet coming through. They just automatically, automatically download messages from spirit. They just know what to do. Or they just know what's going to happen about things. Anyway, yeah, it's number 10. You know, if anything, it's like, and this is just random message before we continue. It's like, humor has had a lot of life experience or even like, like multiple life experiences um, of learning how to share what they have learned with others for other people to elevate divine teacher type of energy and then here it's like empathy in this life or in their previous lifetimes um had to perfect their you know their intuition you know like when to follow it what to follow all the messages um because it seems like at this time at least empathy is quite in tune with their abilities and humor will be able to talk about it um and it's not like they're trying to teach empathy because it's like they're on the same level, but in different ways. Anyway, uh, when it comes to how y'all are showing up, right? Humor sees that empathy is magnificent, okay? That's how we're reading these cards. And humor knows that empathy is magnificent due to all of the mess that empathy had gone through and how they 
grew every step of the way and they made themselves grow. That's the real tea. Humor sees the magnif sees empathy as magnificent because empathy took these negative experiences or failures and they took it upon themselves to transmute that energy, to alchemize that situation into something positive, into an opportunity. Empathy had to use their skills, they had to use their knowledge, they had to use their network, okay? They had to use their, their history um, in order to persevere through these uh, challenges. And then since they had done all of that, maybe even without asking for too much help along the way, which is not something to brag about all the time. Like, a lot of people need help sometimes. Anyway, um, it seems like they had received some type of gift or they, was, they achieved their goal. They reached success because of their journey. And that's why humor finds empathy magnificent. Um, and I think humor is going to be reminding empathy of how magnificent they are. Okay, um, because I think empathy for a while, all they could do was focus on the now, you know, and after that finished, they focused on the next now. Let us get some more cards before we run out of time. Put this here and there. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna get the Silhouette Tarot for you, and we're gonna use these cards to see how this conversation's actually going to play out, okay? I just got Wolf Spirit. It could be the Silver Wolf, or, yeah, I think it's a Silver Wolf. Some it could be the Black Wolf. And I'm also seeing like green eyes. It could be like of of the wolf or maybe even a cat's green eyes. Um, also some here might have a connection to mushrooms and the different types of fungus that grows on um, fallen trees. Some here might be like deeply vegan too. Like you literally go out to forage what you like to eat. And I see it's deeper for you, though. It's more than just great diet. It's actually the energy you're taking in. Very cool stuff. Um, so far, we have the Three of Wands. I don't know why, but this feels scary. Hmm. It's like, oh, shit. This is? This is? Well, this is what is? We need more cards, shall we? Um, hmm. Interesting. In this deck, it has like five different special cards, more or less. This is one of the special cards, and it um, it represents the body here. Ooh. <laughs> um, let's get some more cards. Okay, so we got the Nine of Swords upright. Oh, oh my god, okay, I think I'm getting the message, y'all, but hold up. Uh, let me just get some more cards. Because this is looking like, look, this is looking like some type of physical connection and let you take it how deep as you trying to think about i'm th i'm just saying i'm just saying a physical connection but it's like scary because it's either unexplored or just quite sudden seven of swords in reverse man i don't know man this conversation might end up quite quite heated um I know, I know. Hold on. I see these other cards. I will tell you everything. We have Eight of Coins in reverse and the Ten of Wands upright. I'm getting a lot of tens in this reading. Anyway, I'm trying to just do these cards because y'all, for real, for real, we are out of time, but mm hmm. But, uh, mm hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just confirming. But, uh, yeah, whatever. We need to get this message. What's this? King of Swords. What's this? Three of Cups. Yeah. Some here, you might be connected to another group. If you feel drawn to another group, go for it. But anyway, this could be ruining a friendship. We ain't friends no more. And it's like with that physical sparky spark, it's like, it's like we kissed before we even knew what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is like true love taking over the hearts of both of you, taking over the bodies of both of you, okay? Because I'm seeing there's just a lot of 
passion for the other person, a lot of lust for the other person. You know what the real tea is? It's like you guys are naturally attracted to the other person because it's like, and it, it's, it could be very specific things, right? So let's say empathy is talking about actually in this conversation empathy is going to talk about how they feel for humor they're going to talk about that like yo i like and some here they're going to say i love you as empathy person mm -hmm. they're going to be honest about it and what might be driving the feeling of being honest about how they really feel about humor is all of this passion underneath oh, that's the thing and you know what empathy is feeds off of the passion humor has as well so it's like half the empathy half of the passion empathy's feeling isn't even from them it's from humor you know and that can be confusing for empathy sometimes but at the same time it's the same type of passion so it's like y'all are with this eight of coins there hasn't been a lot of work being put and so with humor after empathy talks about let's be in love let's mighty maybe even make some love okay that's that's coming through strongly i'm a it is what it is and it, what's confirming that is this nine of swords for me i know right like with this look how in the hell but the thing is i feel like both of y'all with this being in the middle all right on top of this two of cups both of y'all have thought about how much you love each other for a while for a long time and i give y'all stress because it's like can we just i just want to share all of my feelings all of the thoughts i have about you all of my emotions and i don't know for whatever reason for why we couldn't have shared all of that before but like now it's just all coming loose it might be because of the goose someone might be drinking but Anyway, yeah, that's some of that liquid courage. Let me get you one more card, and that's going to be the end of the reading. I'm pulling a card from the Angel Guide Oracle to get what your angels would like you to take from this conversation. Learning experience. I don't know why this feels so deep. Hold up. Let me just feel this out. You know, it kind of feels like, here's one option. There's one path here where y'all were, could have been actually like childhood friends, or like about when you were younger, and then like over time, you know, we could have been in the same neighborhood, but then moved for maybe high school or college or whatever. And it's just like, there's kind of just been this together, not together, together, not together. Or it's like, we're talking so much now we're not talking, but we're talking again. And this was a learning experience for both of y'all. You have to have an individual journey first. The, there's more for you later. If you want, and I've been trying to say this, if you want, look, check out another group if you felt drawn to it. If you do not feel drawn to another group, and this is all for you. Oh, well, it's going to be over time. Because honestly, I feel like there's just, there's just something missing. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I know this is not our regularly scheduled program, but it is what it is. Because there's a truth here about both of your guys' learning experience. Whoa. I just got it. Y'all both had to learn how to quote unquote depend on another person you have to learn how to be what's the word it's independent on your own and emotionally independent as well so that when you are in a partnership you can rely and depend on the other person in a healthy manner not placing too much on them and not expecting too much from them okay so that authentic love might be shared and nothing is kept away from the other person. And things that have could have been kept from the other person in the past stems from 
lack of belief in how strongly the other person feels for you due to an unclear vision of self, that self-acceptance, right? And since both of you had gone through journeys that allowed you to see how you can healthily do you but also show up as a partner, you guys will be together, okay? This was the learning experience. Mm. Where was that card? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, okay, now I feel like we're good. Let's go ahead and end this off here. Hooray! We did it, y'all! We made it to the end of yet another reading. Uh, another reading on my Angel channel. Y'all, we we have grown so much. It's, it's mind-boggling to me, and I can only just say thank you so much for joining me in this reading, joining me on this channel's journey. Um, if you have been commenting, thank you. I see all the comments. I try to respond whenever I can or whatever I can. And then, um, if you have liked my videos, thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting me and helping us grow. Um, and, and and also like with the when if you subscribe and when you like, I can see like okay, like this is good. <laughs> we'll keep going for whatever topic that is for the reading, or you just really buy with my energy. Um, and I was feeling in um, the past reading really fast. We have expect powerful change new moon eclipse and now when i'm filming this it's a new moon this is the collective energy y'all okay expect powerful change um oh what was i saying well anyway uh yeah for those who have been here thank you so much and i'm expecting like because i kind of sense a lot of who is within our angel army and a lot of y'all are mad psychic like so much to where I'm understanding why I was meant to begin this channel as well because I said in the other um, closing of the reading that I know there, there are those here throughout the reading like when I'm giving cards you get messages as well that could be very specific or whatever and it might not be for you and you could share it and so I'm like I feel for those here I want, I'm gonna give opportunities for those to share about certain cards throughout the reading. I haven't fully planned out how I want that to happen yet, so that's why I didn't do it yet, but just expect this. Um, if you've been feeling like, ooh, I got a message with that card, I'm getting an intuitive message with this type of setup or something, because I can only do, like, I can cast the net, right, for this, but I feel like those individuals will be able to get the specifics for others. Anyway, last card. <laughs> we have my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Bless. Psalm 73, 26. Okay. Um, so, yes. Oh, also, I do offer personal readings if you're ever interested. I got my info in the description box. But uh, if this is where you are leaving me, then I will see you in another reading, okay? Bye-bye.